much of our research it really is a uh, uh, um, focuses on, on understanding how the intestinal how the intestinal in the setting of injury responds to that injury and how microbes or bacteria can modify that response to injury. So this has been highly studied in other intestinal inflammatory conditions such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, but an area that's really just beginning to see more uh, interest in, in the relevance to this is, is radiation-induced enteritis that's associated with cancer therapy. In the setting of, of cancer therapy, patients typically receive, uh, many patients will receive with advanced local advanced cancer receive both radiation as well as chemotherapy or at least radiosensitizing chemotherapy. And this is the case with gastrointestinal cancer. And one of the significant side effects of this is that they have uh, developed a mucositis or an injury to the lining of the mucosa. And that mucositis results in significant symptoms such as diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, anemia, and all of these things can be so severe, in fact, sometimes that patients require hospitalization and they may have to stop their cancer therapy. And if they stop their cancer therapy, they have less likelihood for a cure. So really, what we need, Peter, is new therapies that can prevent that mucositis or that injury that goes with cancer therapies. There's been some uh, historical data that suggests that the, that the intestinal microbiome can modify the gut's response to radiation injury. For example, uh, antibiotics sometimes can, in looking in animal models anyway, antibiotics can reduce death from radiation. Uh, Germ-free mice, mice that have no intestinal microbiota, may have a different response compared to those who have normal microbiota. And there's been some human clinical trials, which is what you mentioned that, I, that, that we performed a review on, really looking at uh, various different um, trials, human trials that have been done um, to see if probiotics might either prevent injury related to radiation or whether or not they could treat it once the, once the injury has already occurred. And in fact, the main results of our reviews and understanding of this is that uh, really the probiotic, one, not all probiotics are, are the same. And so you need to understand which partic particular bacteria may be beneficial and which may be harmful. Two, you need to understand uh, the timing of it. And in fact, what we found is that uh, when probiotics were used as a therapy, in other words, once symptoms had begun, uh, that this was that they were ineffective, and so really they need to be started before the cancer therapy begins.